Hey y'all, hey. Okay, so here are a few tips to help you include a call to action in your content or even on your website as you're working to gain exposure for your brand or company and build some virtual rapport with your target audience. Now let's start by defining what a call to action is. And a call to action is a prompt in your content or on your website that prompts someone to take some sort of action. And the type of action that they take depends on the type of prompt that you use. And if you put a call to action on your website, you want to make sure that it really catches the attention of the visitor. So the colors that you use matter because you don't want it to blend in with the rest of your page. Now let's talk about some of the different call to action prompts, starting with the lead generator, which you'll want to use anywhere you think you'll have a high number of viewers or visitors that you can potentially turn into a client or customer. So in your content, you might want to tell people to like this page or subscribe to this page or follow this page so that you can start building some virtual rapport with them via the content that you post. And on your website, you might want to have a subscribe to our newsletter button so you can start sending some information that will hopefully turn them into a client or customer. So with the lead generator prompt, you're not trying to sell them anything at this point. You're simply trying to start building rapport with them so they can hopefully become a client or customer in the future. Now, if you have an ebook or some other exclusive information that you can send them, you might want to use a lead magnet prompt so you can gather information about your potential client or customer. So on your website, you can create a form that requests their name, email address, and phone number. And you want to make the title of the form clear and direct so that they can see the value in them giving you their information. So you might want to title it something like sign up here to download this free ebook. And you can even include an option that they can click to receive more information about your products or services or receive a newsletter so that you can continue building rapport with them and potentially turn them into a client or customer. Now, social sharing is another prompt. And in your content, you can ask people to share your content when you post it. And on your website, you can include a share button so that they can share your article to their social media. Now, once you capture a lead via a call to action prompt, it's important to nurture that lead until they become a client or customer. So in your existing communication, it's important to include a call to action that will hopefully get them to buy your product or service. So one way you can do this is by promoting a sale that only your existing leads have access to, to hopefully encourage them to buy your product or service. Now, these are only a few of the call to action prompts and a few more are listed on the screen. But if you Google call to action prompts, you can do a little bit of research to see which prompt will work best for your needs. The thing you want to remember is that you can't assume that someone knows what you hope they will do when they visit your website or view your content. So including clear call to action prompts can help to motivate someone to take action and potentially become a client or customer. So those are my tips for y'all this week. Make sure you like, follow, or subscribe for more. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.